What about your forefathers? The people you come from? Your people, they ever been in slavery before? Can't hear you. Your people, have they, have they ever been in slavery before? Your people. Has your people ever been enslaved? That's a hard question to answer? Yes, they have. So we are a product of who? Our people, right? Right. Now listen to what God says about our people. Read it again from the top. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. They shall go where? Into captivity. So we're on the bottom everywhere we go today because at one point in time, right, we were put into slavery and we haven't been able to recover ourselves ever since then. So we live in the ghettos today. Right. Right? We eat catfish today. Y'all eat uh, pork chops? Huh? We know where we learned to eat that? In slavery. Right. That's where we learned to eat pork chops. That's where we learned to eat chitlins. That's where we learned to eat pig feet. That's where we learned to eat all of those abominations like crab, shrimp, lobster. All of those are abominations. Y'all eat that stuff? You eat crabs? You eat crabs? You were shaking your head. No, which one is it? You eat crabs or you don't? You don't eat crabs, just a little bit. Only on occasion. So you eat crabs, bro. You eat crabs. All right, you shouldn't be eating none of that stuff right. because we learned to eat that in slavery. So today you're still perpetuating the captivity that you say you're not in no more. You say I'm not in captivity, I'm blessed, but you still eating slave food. Right. right. You understand? So guess what? You still are in captivity. Right. You still are in captivity today. You still haven't come out of captivity. The chains are off of you, but you still destroyed as a people. You never rise above your people. And our people still live in the ghetto. Our people still killing each other out here. Teach. Our people still selling drugs to each other. Are they or I'm wrong? Which one is it? I'm right. So read verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we've been over, overtaken by curses and it started right here. What's that? That's slavery. That's slavery. Did you know that slavery was in the Bible? We just read a part of it for you. We just read a part of it for you. Give me Genesis chapter 1. Verse 27, verse 30, you know what I want? I'm going to show you about God because that was your initial question. Why did God allow his people to go through this? Why, I'm going to ask you, why did God allow his people to go through this? Why did God allow his people to go through this? My man right here with the do Why did God allow his people to go through this? Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 27. So God created man in his own image. What did God do? So God created man in his own image. It, the Bible says God created man in his own image. Right? So the next question you should be asking was how did the first man look? Do you know? How did Adam look? How did Adam look? He, he said he was he, he was butt naked. What about you? How did Adam look? That's the first thing you think about when you think about the mightiest man to ever walk the earth before any other creations were made is a butt naked man. That's what comes to your mind. That's not what he looked like. You understand? Adam was a god on the earth. He was created in God's image. Read it again. So God created man in his own image. So how does God look? He naked too? When you think about God, you think about a naked, a naked man? Huh? It say God was created how? Or man was created how? So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. In the image of God, Adam was created. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Listen to where man was created from. Read what you got. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? 
orange hoodie. What color is the dust of the ground? What color is the dust of the ground? Read it again. And the Lord God formed men of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Gray. It's gray. The dust of the ground is the dirt. What color is the dirt? Dark. Dark. It's, it's what color? Dark. It's dark. So what color is, is the Most High? What color is God? Dark. He's dark. Right. He's dark color. He's black. That's what color he is. Right. He's black. He's black. The Lord is black. The Most High is black. All the prophets in the Bible are black. Right. This should change your mindset about yourself. For so long, you've been thinking that Christ was a white man and Adam was naked. And this is what you think about the Bible. This is what you think about the Bible, bro. Teach. I'm going to ask you, hey, what's your name? What's your purpose in life? Is it to play basketball or go to the NBA? What's your purpose in life? To be what? To be wealthy? That's your purpose. Your whole purpose is to be wealthy. All right, so give me uh, Sirach chapter 30. Your whole purpose is to be wealthy. Yeah, I know, but you need this. So we're going to read it for you. Sirach chapter 30, I think it's verse... No, that's not what I want. I want Sirach chapter 30 and verse 14. Read that. This, this is the book of Sirach chapter... Hey, listen to this, bro. The brother that said he want to be wealthy. Read this. Listen to this. Read what you got. This is the book of Sirach chapter 30 and verse 14. Better is the poor being sound and strong. What does the Bible say? Better is the poor being sound and strong. I thought my whole purpose was to be wealthy. Better is the poor being sound and strong. So you would rather be wealthy than to be healthy. You would rather be wealthy than to be healthy, right? So, but your whole purpose in life is to be what? Tell me again. Your whole purpose in life is to be what? Why did I say wealthy? You said what? I'm, I'm, you said wealthy. Is that that's your whole purpose in life? To be wealthy? Then change your answer for me. What's your purpose in life? Think about it. Read the scripture again. Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. The Bible says it's better for you to be poor and have good health than it is for you to have all the money in the world and be sick. Read on. Health and good estate of body. What does the Bible say? Health and good estate of body are above all gold. It's above what? Above all gold. It's above how much money? Above all gold. So to be healthy is above all the money in the world. Right. And when someone asks you what your purpose is, you say it's to be wealthy. You you greater than that, bro. You want the you so you're working. Who got a dollar? You got a dollar? Take the ball out. I want to see it. I know. Oh, you don't got no dollar. You got a dollar? You ain't got no. So you working? You got a five dollars? Take five dollars out, bro. Take five. Look at this five dollars right here, bro. This your whole purpose in life? So you can walk around with some with some with some green paper with a white man face on it? That's your whole purpose. This white man right here is your purpose. This your purpose right here, bro? That's what you just told me, though. I said, ask you what your purpose is. You say to be wealthy. The only way you can be wealthy is you got a bunch of white men in your pocket. Right. That's the only way you can be wealthy. I want you to consider life, bro. It's more than playing basketball, putting the damn ball in the hoop. You more than that, bro. Right. You are more than that. You understand? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.